Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video um, is about this. Uh, using, basically what happened was was uh, a buddy of mine, his dad's building this car or having it built or whatever the case is. And uh, they took it to a guy to put in this sunroof out of a, I think it's a Lincoln. This car's a uh, 65, I think 65 Impala. And no, it might be a six or seven actually. And uh, I think it's a 67 Impala. And uh, so, anyways, uh, the guy welded in this roof section out of a Lincoln and he warped it pretty badly. So, they brought it over to me to, to see what I could do about correcting these, these sunken areas and, and missing gaps. And well, the sunken area here, if you look at it from the bottom, there's uh with the sunroof structure it's very limited access so what i what i decided to do was i got out my air hammer one of these and uh and a big old backing plate this is just half inch plate steel set it over the damaged area run this along the back and you could quickly drive that area back up to where it needs to go. I'll show you real quick. And remember, you will need ear protection and eye protection for this. And while it's not perfect yet, as you can see, it's worlds better. So now at this point I have to grind down the welds and repeat until the, the problem's fixed and then I'll move on to filling in these, these bad corners. But there you go guys, your quick tip of the day. Use your air hammer like a planishing hammer by backing it up with something. Same thing as using a hammer and dolly, just a lot quicker. And I think now Eastwood or somebody is actually making a kit that you could, they have some hammer dies you could put into an air hammer and do the same thing. And, and probably some sort of backer piece that goes with it, a dolly, a plate, whatever. Um, but uh, as you can see, it's fairly effective. You might want to get a hold of Eastwood if, uh, if you don't have an air hammer. And uh, they'll have an air hammer or or you get the air hammer local and buy that little kit or do what I did and I just ran that I just cut off a normal chisel and uh, run it along run it along the low point and just drive it up where I need it and uh, you know you could make a hammer die for any size you need you could contour it, the shape of the vehicle whatever whatever area you're working in as long as you have a backer plate you'll be fine you don't want to run it without a backer or you'll just uh, turn it into a whole bunch of walnuts. So um, you guys have yourself a great day. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Thanks.